The story of Sword of Damocles originates from ancient Greek mythology and has been retold in various forms over the centuries. It is centered in the court of Dionysius II, the tyrant ruler of Syracuse in Sicily during the 4th century BC. Dionysius was filthy rich, had all the money in the world and was all powerful. And no, I'm not talking about God. He had iron-fisted rule which also made him many enemies, but who cares about that? He was living the life, he had the money and the freedom or what millennials would call the American dream, right? Well, not quite. He had all that, but he was really unhappy. He was tormented by the fear that someone will assassinate him in his sleep, so much so that he slept in a chamber surrounded by a moat and only trusted his daughters to shave his beard with a sharp razor. Which is kind of sad because he's a grown man, he should know how to shave his own beard. So the king's dissatisfaction reached a critical point when a court flatterer named Damocles showered him with compliments and praised him and praised the lavish lifestyle and power of Dionysius. And by the way, a court flatterer is someone who excessively praises or compliments a person in authority in order to gain favor or advantage. So basically he doesn't have a real job. One day, tired of Damocles' constant flattery, Dionysius offered to switch places. He went, buddy if you think my life is so good, why don't you live it and see it for yourself? Allowing Damocles to experience the life of a king firsthand. And Damocles overjoyed and just out of his mind eagerly accepted the offer and took his place on the throne for a day. Of course for a day you don't expect a king to just give it all to some courtier who couldn't even manage to land a real job. However, as Damocles sat on the throne, he notices something unsettling. Above his head, suspended by a single horsehair, hung a razor-sharp sword. The sword swayed perilously, threatening to fall at any moment. Terrified, Damocles was like, this is not what I signed up for. He realized the precariousness of Dionysius's position. Despite the wealth and power that came with being a king, Dionysius also bore the constant burden of responsibility and the ever-present threat of danger. He practically begged Dionysius to let him return to his former position as a courtier. So that is just a single horse. Are you out of your mind, Dione boy? How did you even manage to hang the sword by a horse? You know what? Never mind. Don't want to know. Just let me return to my former position. So Damocles went back to his position and was no longer envious of the ruler's life. The story of the sword of Damocles serves as a cautionary tale about the nature of power and the inherent risks that come with it. It illustrates the idea that those in positions of authority may enjoy privileges and luxuries, but they also face significant challenges, dangers, and anxieties. The tale is endured through the ages as a reminder of the fragility of power and the importance of humility and perspective.